One day, a long time ago, some fishermen went out for their daily catch. They brought in their nets and noticed that on that particular day, they were particularly heavy. When they unraveled their catch, they found a man amongst their midst, naked, with long wild hair around a bald pate and an exceptionally hairy chest. Some say he even had webbed feet or hands, but the fisherman made no mention of this at the time. He had a long pointed beard and wild eyes that flashed with the colors of the sea. They brought him to the castellan and he decided to lock the wild man up in the castle's tower. Many days and many nights, the wild man was locked away in the tower. He had a savage appetite and ate anything that was put before him. He especially loved raw fish and squeezed the fish juices into his hand before eating them. He did not speak, only making grunts and other uncivilized noises. Those at the castle decided to try and make him talk and hung him up by his feet and tortured him for seven days and seven nights, but to no avail. They brought him to church and were surprised and stunned when he did not recognize anything holy. He did not bow his head. He did not kneel. And another strange thing he did. As soon as the sun set, he would go to bed and then arise as soon as the sun had risen. He became a bit of a pet for the gentry of the area, and they eventually allowed him some more freedoms. He was allowed to swim in the river, though his freedom was barred by three nets spanning the way out to the sea. One day, however, he dived deep under the nets when the tide was high and made his way out into the murky waters of the cold gray sea not far away. To everyone's astonishment, that evening he returned to the castle. He did this for two more days, returning back to the castle before he finally swam out to sea, never to be seen again. Was he some sort of fey creature a merman, as is known in the old tales. Was he a wild man that was caught having a swim in the river? Was he a foreign spy caught up in the nets as he made his way to the castle? We may never know. All that we know is his likeness is held forever on the font of the St. Bartholomew's Church in the village. And those who know still look out for him and his kin, just after sunrise and just before dawn, watching the waters as the tides rise and fall.